Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. Okay, so here on the show, you know we love our festival, so when we heard about one that celebrates a unique part of Texas's history and culture, plus it's a whole lot of fun, you know we had to do more investigating. So let's head out to Cashville and see what their St. Louis Day Festival is all about. Our destination today is Castroville on the banks of the Medina River. It's as Texas as it gets. But in fact, it also has a distinct heritage and history celebrated once a year every August when it plays host to the one-of-a-kind St. Louis Day Festival. So this festival is so well known, it's actually been called the Homecoming of Texas. Yeah, you know, here on the show we've been to plenty of festivals, but this time we're actually here a couple of weeks early to get a sneak peek of what to expect, as well as what goes into making this festival such a special one. So for our first stop on our trip through Castroville is here, Hades Alsatian Bakery. All right, so fun fact, turns out Castroville was settled all the way back to 1844 by immigrants of France, and it's such a big part of the community that that culture is still celebrated here today. And the only way for us to get into that spirit is by coming to a French bakery because who doesn't love French pastries, right? At first glance, this seems like a normal bakery with rows and rows of fresh bread and sweet treats. But as you get deeper into the menu, you start to notice that there's something special going on here. This is the French morning treat. They have their coffee with this in the morning. No okay. one else is, yes, that's the big thing. Drink a cup of coffee, slice of this, that's your mid-morning treat. And because this isn't a carb loading show, we headed out to find a place where we can learn a bit more about Castroville's Alsatian culture. All right, so this here behind me is the Living History Center. This is one of the original settlers' home and now serves as a museum. Sounds like a good place to start, so let's go check it out. Here you can step back in time and relive the days of our Texas ancestors. And to fill us in, we met up with Bradford Bame, Dawson at the Visitor's Living Center. The Living History Center is, uh, is a original Alsatian home built of stone and uh, we have it set up as, a, as how it would look uh, in the period 1840 to about 1870. It's a, it's, a nice, uh, it's a nice way to view what life was like when the Alsatian pioneers first came to this area okay. and, and, and how they lived. Okay, so this beautiful building behind me is the St. Louis Catholic Church, built all the way back in 1868. And back in the day, the St. Louis Society was the largest Catholic society in Texas. And so people all over the world came here for St. Louis Day services. And afterward, obviously, had a bunch of social gatherings. And that's where the festival all began. And to take us through memory lane of past St. Louis Day festivals, we met up with Frankie Kempf, publicity chairperson of the event. You know what we're looking at now? This is a fraction of some of the old newspaper clippings and pictures that we've taken from years past. This is a, a, not even a tenth of what we put out on a, a place we call Memory Lane. Yeah. And we were just looking at some of them now, and we have some telegrams there from like John F. Kennedy wow. and John Connolly. Wow. But anyway, we got old pictures and things, and I, I, was, I was noting some of the pictures up here, the, the meal line back in the day, like the early 60s, would actually go around the building, up the hill, back down the hill, we streamlined it. Now, no long waits at all. St. Louis Day hangs on the counter like Christmas, <laughs> and it does for all of Castorville. Our tour around historical Castorville continues after the break. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas, where we are touring historic Castroville in preparation for their annual St. Louis Day Festival. All right, so this is where it all takes place. They have live music, a beer garden, and tons of food. And since this is Castroville, they also have performances by a unique dance group. The Alsatian dancers of Texas carry on a traditional form of folk dance that dates back hundreds and hundreds of years. Nowadays, this group performs in festivals, fairs, and parades all over the state. I'm going to teach you the Gamutlikite. Okay. And the Gamutlikite is a story dance. Okay. So it takes you through the relationship of either friends or a couple. Um, and first you meet them, and then you sort of start getting more comfortable with each other, you get annoyed with each other, you get <laughs> mad at each other, but at the end you're still friends and you always you make up.
Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. But our time in Cashville wasn't over yet. There was one more place we had to check out. And we may have saved the best for last because at the St. Louis Day Festival, the foods are legendary, especially the meat. Y'all were talking about 2,500 pounds of sausage and 3,500 pounds of beef. Yeah, and it's all a big part thanks to this place, Jute's Meat Market. One of the most famous part of our meal is what we call our Casterville style sausage. And we make that ourselves. Our, it's made, homemade, right? Uh -huh. What we do though is we come here to Jukes Meat Market okay. and we use their facilities early Saturday morning to do that. We have a special blend seasoning just for St. Louis Day. Okay. And what we do is we'll take the, the bigger chunks of meat, we chunk those out into smaller pieces, and from there into a stainless steel stuffer and we shoot out 2,500 pounds of sausage in the casings and the volunteers tie every each individual sausage. Wow. And then early morning, Sunday morning rather, we start our, uh, our cooking of the sausage. Preparations begin Saturday morning, followed by drinks at the beer garden. Kick things off the next day with mass, then shortly after, barbecue plates are served with live entertainment, even an ice bucket challenge, plus more. Needless to say, the St. Louis Day celebration is an annual event worth making the drive for. Planning a trip to Casherville? Go to Casherville.com for visitor information. Plus, join us at the St. Louis Day Festival, August 24th and 25th. For more details, just go to stlouisday.com. With a state as big as Texas, there's always something going on. So here's a list of events coming up, including the Margarita and Salsa Festival happening August 24th in Waco, and mark your calendars for the weekend of August 30th for Kyle, Texas's Pie in the Sky Hot Air Balloon Festival.